today I will be talking and I'll be discussing the truth about the uh, status of women in Vietnam, which you might find is a bit different from the watered down, oftentimes misleading version that the Vietnamese government often portrays to us. So I'll dive right into the reply that the government of Vietnam provided towards C to CEDAW on their list of issues. And in that reply, they state that they encourage young women and youth to join associations and organizations, which is in many ways very misleading because organizations such as the one I represent, Vietnamese Women for Human Rights, is not allowed to exist in Vietnam, it's outlawed. In fact, another woman, uh, woman Phat Ong Thun, was sentenced to 10 years in prison for co-founding the Club of Free Journalists of Vietnam. So lack of freedom of association, lack of freedom of expression, that violates Article 3 of CEDAW. And because of that violation, CEDAW cannot be fully implemented in Vietnam without those fundamental human rights. And next, women in Vietnam are shamed when they participate in civic engagement. And how are they shamed? The government of Vietnam actually admits to hiring 1,000 online public opinion shapers where what they do is they go online and they attack and bash female human rights activists. They state things like, why are you not at home in the kitchen? Why are you, you're such a bad wife, you're such a bad a mother. And because of that, in the reply they provide with CEDAW, they said that they promote the advancement of women, when in fact their government forces actually cause the regression of, of women's status. They move them back a thousand years to archaic values like women belong in the kitchen and not in civil engagement. And this discouragement of women in civil, living a life of civil engagement actually leads to violence against these women. Um, and in their reply to CEDAW, they talk a lot about domestic violence. There's not a single word about state-sponsored violence against these women. It ranges from sexual harassment to torture to prison, threats on their life for engaging in civil, in, um, civil engagement. And they also state they have many laws protecting equality for women, stating that they educate women on their rights. When in fact, that is not entirely true because a, a group of women were going into a park disseminating the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and they were beaten. So far from educating women about their rights, they are attacking women who try to educate others about their rights. And that is not true. And so I only have two and a half minutes, so that's all I'll say for now. And I can definitely provide more information and answer any questions in the discussion. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now I would like to invite Mr. Wahan Ai.